Yo, what's up fam? It's your girl Tylea. I'm just coming at you because I don't know if you've ever heard about Anchor, but it's the easiest way to make a podcast. It's free. They even allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or from your computer using the app. Plus, they even distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on various platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. You can even make money with no minimum amount of listeners. Guys, look, this is a great opportunity, right? Everything we need to make a podcast is conveniently right in one place. Again, for free. So you can go download the free app or just go to anchor.fm to get started. That's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M. And if it's calling out to you, look, I'm here to tell you right now, hop on it, okay? Well, I hope you enjoy this next episode, and I'm sending you so much peace and love. Take care. and family. Welcome to Down With The Earth Podcast, where we unpack and discover insight and lessons from the universe through storytelling, as well as share intimate thoughts about ourselves, our connection to spirit, and our journey of holistic transformation, leading us towards a life of well-being, enlightenment, alignment, joy, and fulfillment. Let's get started. Hello. I just got the desire to pull some cards. I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps because something's going on in my personal life that I just like my my mind is kind of busy. But I just really wanted to... Yeah, share the little insight that I got. Um, First card is the new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. I've literally been feeling this like for the past few days. It's like such high, prosperous, like magical energy. Magical is like literally the word. And the next one is hold the vision. I've been doing so many things to like, yeah, align my vision with what... I want to manifest that I feel like okay the 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 momentum is building right so that's probably you know the vibrations raising um some things have shifted in my life but it just seems like there's so much room in a way or just like opportunity there's so much space for like things to come anew so It's a good thing, even though my mind might be in the wrong space about it. It's like, is this wrong? Should I do something about it? Do I need to change something about me? Um, I'm just really focused on growth and wanting to be the best that I can be. So I don't like when things don't go my way or like things look bad or wrong. I want to have control over it. And it's a little bit uncomfortable right now in this moment. So I think that's just you know, things are up in the air, but, um, the next one is the answers you need are coming. I hear that so much of like spirit is just telling me to wait. The answers you need are coming. Um, and I'm really only saying this in a, like from a personal point of view so that you can take it the way that you want to. Um, but yeah, prosperity lies ahead and hold your vision. The answers you need are coming. So like, you know, Just try to be still, be patient, and surrender in this moment. And just, yeah, hold the vision, do what you can to make that vision um, physical, like in this realm. And for example, that's why I say my personal points of view, because for example, I've been practicing blah, 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 blah. Like, um, that's the full moon in Gemini card, by the way, the answers you need are coming. And it's like, take time to journal, take time to hold the vision and talk to yourself about the vision. Um, There are two sides to every story. There's duality in um, things being like, 
universal or knowing that, you know, pretty much all sides are have a truth. And I definitely believe that. So answers are coming. And the next one is the time to give rather than to take. That's the new moon in Virgo. I feel like that's like giving and tending to your needs, but also, you know, be social and give and share love. Um, share that nurturing energy um maybe be in touch with mother nature because like that's what I'm also getting from this card too is like give to mother and let mother give to you and just instead of taking 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 like we um usually do just as humans you know it's no big thing um that we have to really punish ourselves for but it is a time to give so maybe just give gratitude um that's a lot of the signals that I'm getting also from this read is like give gratitude for like all the things because there's so much more coming so maybe and personally in this situation where I feel like um I want to control it or change it maybe just give gratitude for what happened because no matter what else happened like it was for a reason it's all for our growth it's all for the realization it's all for good the next one is work through your fears new moon in scorpio and that is definitely on point for especially right now is to work through our fears so a lot of a lot of a lot of fears have been coming up especially surrounding like imposter syndrome because with this vision honey that i am holding and manifesting there are just so much like i'm expanding you know like there are places and things that I have to be there are places that I want to be in that I feel like myself I'm too small for so that's just a fear you know we all we all have a part to play and if that's the role that I'm envisioning for myself then it's only my fears that are keeping me from those spaces and those places so I'm really excited to continue expanding and I'm really excited for y'all to keep um, expanding too, working through your fears and just holding that vision and letting everything else go that keeps us from that vision. Like we are so much bigger and wider than we really understand. Um, the full moon in Pisces is the next card, balance, spirituality, and practicality. And um, I think that's just knowing that like, everything has a time and we can manifest and uh, hold our vision do everything that we need to do but the practicality of it is that there's just a flow and a timing to it so don't rush the process you know enjoy this process right now of just being and enjoy that do things that you know that enhance your being like being in nature and like enjoying yourself and enjoying other people um that I feel like is more so the um message when it comes down to that card and the next one is void of course moon nothing will come out of this situation nothing will come of this situation I feel like that is definitely a big message for me personally. Um, sometimes I feel like that card is like nothing bad will happen. Um, but I also think that that sometimes is literal. Like literally nothing will come out of this situation. So I definitely feel like that both of those are true. Especially in this personal thing that I have going on right now. I really think that that's both true. Like, nothing bad is going to happen, but also, you know, don't be surprised if nothing does come out of this situation, um, because more is coming. And I want to give gratitude for the fact that more is coming, and, you know, what has to leave has to leave so that the more can come. And I'm happy for that. And even though the in-between is uncomfortable, you know, when things leave and things um, drop out of your life, then you know that, okay, there's just room for more, you know, but it is like an uncomfortable and a sad situation. So 
I feel like that also ties into the other cards about balancing practicality and spirituality. Like, there's a flow and a timing for everything. Um, what goes up must come down. And working through the fears of like, okay, maybe we fear that it's going to take too long. Maybe we fear that we're not going to enjoy the process or that bad things are going to happen. And it's like, no, nothing bad is going to happen. Just enjoy life, enjoy nature, and be still, accept all of the ups and downs the duality of life and more so in my um studies and in my practices like I've been kind of steering away from binary things and like duality and stuff but there is like you know a clear duality of life of like up down backwards forwards um but there's also like you know northwest east and south you know so it's just that there's always um a process so lean into the process take time to try our best to enjoy the process the next card is the full moon in virgo you're good enough and i think that um you know when maybe because this thing left my life that I feel like I'm not good enough to receive it or hold it or maintain it. And that's not always true. Um, that literally is not always true. It just means that I'm better or that I don't see how better I am, quote unquote. And it's not to like say I'm better than anybody. It's not to like, a, it's not a competition. It's just to actually see your worth, like you're good enough. You're good enough to receive the things that you want, the people that you want. And knowing that and moving forward is going to help us behave and act in ways that serve us better than if we didn't believe we're good enough, you know? And the next card is the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. And yes, I feel this. Like, I 100% feel this, feel this, feel this. The energy is gaining momentum. Keep up the consistency. Keep doing it for the first time in maybe like a few weeks since I've been feeling the energy picking up and feeling good I felt like um um what is that called I've been feeling I felt a little bit of oh my gosh why did it just leave my brain right now a little bit of like tiredness exhaustion I was gonna say another word and it'll probably come to me in a little bit but yeah I've been feeling like that little bit of tiredness and I've been like you know I tell myself and I talk to myself just like how I'm in the gym working out and I feel tired I like literally let that thought go or like lean into the other thoughts of like you got this you're doing amazing and you can expand and like really challenging myself to grow 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 and not tell myself that I'm limited the way that you talk to yourself really really matters so honestly <laughs> it feels great in the moment to know that like yeah one more or push 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 like you can really continue pushing so um, in my walking life I've definitely been applying that same thing I got so, so much shit done today, but I'm like dead ass looking at a whole to-do list full of shit that I have not um, accomplished just yet. But still, knowing that those things will get accomplished, I don't need to rush. There's always a flow and surrender to the flow. That is like literally the highlight to this and that good things are coming. Luck is on your side is the next card. It's the new moon in Sagittarius and actually the new moon in Sag is next week. So luck is on our side. Let us claim that and maybe we need to go into mother nature and get grounded and know that like we deserve all of the good things that are coming to us, release our fears when it comes to us not deserving or being unworthy of receiving. Um, yeah, that is literally a word and a message right there. Uh, the next one is a new romantic cycle begins and it's the new moon in Libra. And that's always exciting. A new romantic cycle with other people, a new romantic cycle with yourself. Um, it's literally just finding the balance and... You know, once we give 
more or we receive more then we're able to give more vice versa so it's like a balancing act you know we we're preparing our inner world to receive more so we're automatically going to give more and um a new romantic cycle begins and that's exciting that's really is exciting the next one is a new moon in leo confidence is your key to success and we literally yes like release the unworthiness release the lack and the scarcity mentality like literally once we continue to talk to ourselves like expand expand and be confident and step into spaces that you know we, we might be a little bit afraid to step into we got this like confidence is our key to success knowing that like we're meant to be in these spaces and we don't have to hide ourselves anymore we don't have to limit ourselves we don't have to play small i think that's a lot of what this message also is saying like stop playing small confidence is your key to success you got this um the next one is a full moon in an aquarius show the world the real you and yeah i think that's why that that why i'm going through currently what i'm going through is like it hurts that it happened but i know that it was for my benefit because i wasn't even showing up as myself so knowing that i'm gonna show up 100% in the world as the real me, then I'm going to be able to receive people and things who do the same thing. The real me is whom I love dearly. So automatically, I will be loved dearly. Um, The next one is the new moon in Gemini. Communication is key. And um, it's funny because I heard a Shawnee Nicholas's uh, astro update for this week ahead. And she said the same thing, that there's like such beautiful energy in the beginning of the week, but towards like the weekend, it might be a little bit uh, rough in a, in a way. Not rough like bad things, but rough as in like little hiccups maybe, or just um, maybe emotions. I don't know if it is emotions, but I know the new moon in Sag is a fire sign, so maybe it's just impatience or whatever the case. It's just little shit, right? communication is key make sure we're talking to ourselves in the right way just like how i said if we continue to tell ourselves to expand and push and you know have that good self-talk then communication with ourselves will be amazing and we'll be able to expand we'll be able to do the things we're telling ourselves to do so maybe um we got to show ourselves and others a little bit of grace during this time communication is key make sure that First and foremost, we're talking to ourselves in uh, in the best way. And then talk to your ancestors, talk to your guys, and talk to God, talk to Mother Nature. And communication is key. That's how we'll get our answers. That was the other full moon and Gemini card. The next one is be bold and make the first move, cardinal moon. And yeah, literally be bold and confidence is our key to success. Knowing our purpose having the purpose in mind and then doing the things that are in direct alignment with our purpose I think is what's going to give us the luck and the success that we want it's like be bold make the first move with our desires be bold with you know our uh our intentions be bold with the things that are lying deep within us like be bold and communication is key um to provide more harmony and Uh, be able to get that healing the next one is new moon eclipse and it's expect powerful change like powerful change is in the air whatever that we're wanting to change whatever that we're seeking and desiring to change change is coming it is here child but again we have to stay surrendered and literally we don't have to force change to come change just automatically comes so maybe go into meditation see the changes that are taking place or that we want to take place and just be in a state of being so that that change can come we really don't have to like we literally can be centered receive and do all the things from a centered place so Um, The next one is don't let your past hold you back. Self node, like don't let the past fears hold us back. Don't let, um, don't let the past hold us back. Like maybe things didn't work out before. 
Um, just because those things didn't work out doesn't mean it can't work out in the present. And everything, everything is anew, you know, like don't let, don't let the negativity hold you back. Don't let fears of the past hold you back. Fears of our incapability or, you know, the worst case scenarios, like because we've had, you know, pretty, I don't know, uh, weird scenarios go on previously does not mean that those things will happen again we're probably way more prepared and capable now so don't worry like everything's gonna be okay the very last one is you're very close to achieving your goal gibbous moon and yeah that is definitely what i'm feeling i know that i'm very close that's why the energy is so high like we literally just have to keep going no matter what there are going to be things that are going to stop us and delay us and keep us from getting what we desire ultimate harmony like let's say i really did want this thing that quote unquote didn't work out to work out nothing is set in stone so if i'm in my be centered being and i'm holding that vision and allowing things to flow and surrendering to the timing and the flow like and just putting my desires out there to the universe you never know what's going to happen things can work out in that personal situation but also in you know our other situations with like our desires our ultimate desires like <laughs> everything is going to work out and we're very close to achieving that we just have to continue to focus and focus on the good things so I pretty much, um, that was pretty much, like, literally what I re needed to receive. I know when the cards are calling me, then they're calling me. And I've been getting that inkling that I need to read, like, kind of, like, weekly. So, i read, um, a few cards, maybe from the self-care oracle. This is, it's always, like, I try not to get it to be too long, but it semi is always long. Um, but I will probably put this on my page my website for y'all let's read a few of these um, um, I don't know how like it's the way that I read cards is so weird it's like I want to say that it has a lot to do with like Reiki because I feel which cards are right for my situation and I just pull them and it's usually like a lot in one but I just stop when I feel like it's done okay I think it's like almost done already okay okay the first one is energy work so yeah i've been um seeing a lot on twitter uh, people feeling like um that their energy is off and i get it literally i get it i feel the same thing so let's do some reiki let's balance those chakras you can balance your chakras through energy work you can balance them through meditation um eating colorful foods wearing colorful clothing i actually just did a mani pedi and my nails are pink and then my toes are like white ish pink um i feel like that's more so like my lower chakras but also i've been um meditating on like the pull and the the pull of um the lower chakras and the higher chakras like pulling down and pulling up of each chakra so that literally to me is like complete balance and harmony um but I do know that like my throat chakra probably is blocked and my heart chakra because of the personal thing that's going on so um the next one is deep breathing and yes honey the breath is like oh I just love pranayama and deep breathing and connecting with our breath because it literally makes everything better. When I'm working out and things are uncomfortable, I literally just breathe it out. And maybe all these fears, all these mental chatter that's going on, we just need to breathe it out like and just let it go. Um, the next one is make an altar. Um, I just know that that's like altar work. So I sometimes at the end of my night we'll go to the altar 
um, look at them, talk to them. When I have a candle, I'll light it. If I have some incense, I'll light it. Um, but yeah, it's just, I do Reiki at the altar too. And that really, really helps at the end of the night, cleanse my energies. Um, because I work so much and do so many things. And also with social media and driving and yeah, working, um, your energies get unbalanced and they attach and you know, like, yeah, things like that. So the next one is dream journal. It's funny because I did have a dream last night and I did not write it down, but it was really, really vivid. Like my dreams have been super vivid lately. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Um, make sure you're writing down your dreams, even any little thing, um, that you can remember, write it down and you might get something out of it. The next one is massage. Yeah, I can't wait to get a massage. I'm calling that in because that's going to be amazing, like energy work also. Um, yeah, that's going to be amazing. So if you are have been getting called to get a massage or you want a massage, call that in in your meditations and in your manifestations with your abundance. The next one is take a walk. Yeah, I've been feeling the call to take a walk because it's honestly been beautiful lately. It has been cold in the morning, but still been beautiful nonetheless. So let's take a walk. Let's connect with Mother Gaia and get some downloads and messages there. The next one is plan a vacation. And yeah, I can't wait to like go on the most ideal vacation. The most ideal vacation that I'm thinking of, like literally something relaxing something amazing Ugh, yeah there's so many places that i want to go so just plan it out next one is alone time um yeah i've been getting that call also to like make sure that i'm having just as much alone time as the social time because my social calendar is pretty high lately so i know that i need to like get in um get in some alone time usually working out is my alone time taking a walk is my alone time and like altar work and all that the reiki sessions meditation i do all of that literally in my room and just at the gym and stuff so yeah get that in the next one is hydrate Woo! yeah that's so accurate because i've been so bad with my water because my water bottle broke and i know that's just them telling me that's literally them telling me like that i've been neglecting it so um i have this temporary one that's like i don't know 16 20 ounces is so damn small my last one was a half gallon and for some reason i haven't been like i don't know you know something about it i've just been like off not putting in the work so i'm definitely going to put in that work and y'all do too the next one is look into the stars that's like astro planning um i actually did you know listen to an astro forecast today um and then astro planning also can include things with your meals because if you know a certain if you know a certain planet is in a certain sign it could help or harm you like maybe there are um there's a transit that's like making me more dry or something like that so i need like hydrating herbs it's like crazy once you go deep into your chart and your transits but look to the stars meaning the next week is self-care or next week is for self-care and visualization this week really is for release and introspection i've been getting that too of um reflect so let's do it um intuition is the next card ask yourself things and trust your intuition literally trust it that's like all i have to say about that because when you don't and you second guess and you doubt then you just find out later that you really should have trusted your intuition to begin with. So, trust your intuition, girl. Or boy, or man, or non-binary person. Next one is make a vision board. Yes, because the new moon is next week. So, visualize and make that vision board. I usually, if I, I don't have things to like um, cut out and put on a vision board, I will create a vision board on Pinterest. And I'll just like 
do mood boards and stuff like literally just mood and put everything on there so yeah make that vision board plain and clear the next one is clean your space uh i do have um <laughs> that's like a thing on my to-do list is uh is a cleaning task and that was one of my dreams or that was a message in one of my dreams and they always tell me to do that and i just be like for what i don't really understand the purpose but i just do it anyway and i don't really under i don't really understand it still but one day i will understand it a lot more but yeah the next one is clear your energy field that has a lot to do with why i'm in this little mood right now with this personal thing i need to cleanse my space and um cleanse my mind literally when your mind is cleansed and your outer environment is or should be cleansed also okay i want to stop at 30 minutes so anyways next one's connect with the earth connect with mother gaia literally plain we said that in literally this whole reading the next one is positive affirmations positive affirmations yeah uh, uh, uh. make those things plain the new moon yes it's like literally the time for that sound healing cleanse 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 sound meditation the next one is dance cleanse cleanse your aura cleanse your space that's what dance is the next one is drink tea that's a ritual that i literally do every day i love tea the next one is write a gratitude list i've been just now starting back on my gratitude list again after being off for a little bit and oh my gosh yes just yes the next one is meditate and the next one after that is be still those are very plain meditate and be still to get the downloads okay because the answers you need are coming the next one is family yes i love that i love that nourish your temple is the next one chanting soak in a bath and look for fairies so yeah those are the messages and i'll see y'all later